These creepy crawly critters have chosen your home as their arena. Tonight, tenacious termites take on callous carpenter ants in the battle to be crowned the most destructive house pet. Which pests will strike the most fear in homeowners' hearts? Tiny fighters, massive damage. It's termites versus ants. No private space is sacred to these insect colonies. These creepy crawlies take anything they want, including your home. They're some of the most destructive household pests, and you'll need professional help to evict these antagonists for good. But which colony can cause the most damage in the shortest amount of time? Stay tuned to find out. You rarely know they've moved in until it's too late. In this corner, it's the grim reapers of old homes, the Formosan termites. These creatures may only be 0.6 centimeters long, but a colony can severely damage a home's structure in less than six months. While a colony is made up of around 1 million individuals, termites rarely leave their nest. This makes them difficult to catch until damage is already done. Over here, dubbed the most successful animals on Earth, and putting the nation in coordination, it's the carpenter ants. These clever cooperative insects live in a parent colony and multiple satellite colonies. Even if you destroy one site, they'll move right back in, unless you kill their queen. Maybe it's their large size, but these ants are brazen. They'll waltz into your home in search of food right before your eyes. Keep an eye on them, folks. They may lead you back to their new home. Round one, meet your exterminator. We'll put both colonies to the test by bringing in a professional. Known around the ring as the terror of insect kind, it's the exterminator. The exterminator will go through your home, inspecting the areas where these insects are most likely to hang out. For termites, the exterminator will look for damage in anything made of wood. With their strictly timbered diet, no wooden floorboard, furniture, or structural beam is safe from these ravenous creatures. Exterminators knock on wood. If it sounds hollow, it may be home to a colony of termites, or their opponents, the carpenter ants. Termites snack on wood, but the ants do not. Using their incredible strength, carpenter ants burrow and dig their way through wood in search of food. Most likely, carpenter ants will invade your home if their colony floods, or if you leave too many crumbs on your kitchen counter. This isn't looking good, folks. If you want your home to survive this fight, you better find the nest. Round two, locating the nest. While termites stay hidden in your wood, carpenter ants boldly traipse across your home. Creeping out of a small hole between your floorboards, they make their way across your kitchen in search of leftovers. The exterminator knows that they can follow the worker ant to one of their nests. Will it be a parent nest or a satellite one? Well, it'll be a gamble. If it is a parent nest, it means the queen can be located. Assassinating her ensures the ants won't reproduce and you can destroy the entire colony. That's a major victory. But the exterminator notices that the basement's beams and walls are made of the termites' all-time favorite meal, wood. Uh-oh, brace yourself. This doesn't look good. Round three, fatal damage. What's this? The worker ants are headed toward another crack in the corner of the basement ceiling. Could it be? Yes! The exterminator has found their shortcut into your home. Plugging up the hole will prevent the ants from marching in and causing more damage. 
Even if you didn't destroy their colony, the ants have taken a huge hit, and it might even cost them the match. The exterminator continues to inspect every piece of wood in the basement, checking for a hollow sound or soft wood that's easy to scrape out. In the damp, dark corner of the basement, the exterminator discovers a hole in the wall. Inside, the wooden beams holding up the ceiling are visible. He taps and, what do you know? It's hollow. The exterminator points a flashlight into the hole. A swarm of termites begins flying and crawling out. They don't like the light and their nest is revealed. It's too late for the colony now, but is it too late for your home? The damage is too great. The termites silently ate the wood holding up your walls, ceilings, and floors. While the exterminator will destroy the colony, they have destroyed your home. With this unexpected victory, the title of most destructive house pest goes to the termite colony. Yeah, I'm sorry about your house. Next time, we'll put more unwelcome house guests to the test with cockroaches versus mice. We'll see who wins on another round of Versus. 